Howdy y'all, welcome back to Masters Brick Jitsu. Today we are taking a look at set 71459, a stable of dream creatures. This set will retail for $80 here in the United States. It comes with 684 pieces, four minifigures, and a bunch of other weird random stuff. Now taking a look at our four minifigures, we have Miss Castello, Zoe, Izzy, and Cooper. Uh, now I do wish that these came with their like extra accessories, um, but I really do love the detail of these prints. Here is a look at their alternate faces. I especially love Miss Castello and uh, Izzy's face prints. I think they are so cute with little smiles. And of course, uh, Cooper's uh, sleeping face is also super useful for other things. And here is uh, the back printing on uh, these three figures. We'll take a look at Miss Castello next. Now, Miss Castello is one of those weird mini figures. She's got a new body mold, um, and I absolutely love her. She kind of like looks like my grandma, so like I absolutely am in love with this figure. She does use those minion arms, uh, but she's just so happy and so cute, and I love her so much. And here are three kind of um, extra builds. Uh, we have this cactus cat, uh, who I'm henceforth naming Edward. Um, we also have these two little mushroom guys, uh, which are kind of weird looking, but I really like this little body piece, so I'm excited to see what they do with it. And of course, we have uh, Z-Blob. This version is never seen in the show, but hopefully we'll see it maybe one day when it takes on a little more life. And uh, as you may have seen in our other reviews, uh, this is a really cool way of doing instruction booklets. There's a lot of really cool art. It tells a story as you're building. Um, I love that the art style is kind of similar to that of um, uh, Mateo, who's unfortunately not in this set, but... Um, these art pieces are just gorgeous and of course once again uh, if you've already watched some of these reviews you do uh, you will know that uh you have these alt builds and stuff here at the back and uh i love this one in particular and i'll tell you why here soon so here we have our uh guardian of the forest now this one uses these pink coral pieces and these pink flowers and these little pink leaf pieces um to uh just kind of give off a, a very peaceful sort of vibe um i do love these builds in particular because you don't have to take anything apart uh, at least, like, you don't have to take anything big apart. You can just kind of swap pieces out, and I really like that compared to uh, the Z-Blob that I've already done. Um, those pieces are going to be really important here in a sec. And here we have those swapped out. We have these uh, these blue Pegasus wings um, and these big flower pieces. I love this look uh, personally, um, but I don't like that it takes away from the overall build, which I also think looks better with the blue pieces on the, the little stable. Um, but I really like how simple it is to swap them out, and I'm just going to sing the praises of that. And there are those pieces in the back um, attached to the tree. And here's what the stable looks like with the pink pieces, and here's what it looks like with the blue pieces. And I think I like the blue piece better, like I kind of just said. Um, overall, I'm a big fan of this kind of stable look. I like the build. Um, I like the colors on here. The colors are really nice. The, the kind of minty blue with the orange and the yellow. Um, it just it just looks really nice. It feels very homely and, and, and safe. Um, but I also think that that's kind of to its detriment. Uh, and I'll tell you a little bit why later. Uh, we also have this windmill piece up here at the top. And here's a look at the back left side of the build. We have this little dining room area, which is kind of nice. We have uh, Zoe and Izzy and Z-Blob uh, just kind of drinking some tea and having a good time. Um, I also love these little sticker prints and stuff. They, I think, feel like they add a lot of like depth and stuff to the overall build. Um, here we have this little kitchenette space as well as this little storage area for Miss Castello's dream staff and that little hay fork. Um, we also have this little lamp and this little, um, and this broom. And we also have uh, Cooper over here uh, cleaning up after Edward the Cat Cactus. Oh, piece is falling off. Uh, then going upstairs, we do have this little mechanism that helps the that helps the windmill turn. I'm not a big fan of how much space this takes up. Miss um, Castello is getting a baguette, and we also have this little bag. I do wish that those back um, stair pieces were actual like shelves and stuff that they like they add into the build. Um, it's unfortunate they're stickers, but they look okay. And here's kind of how that mechanism works from the back. Again, not a, not a big fan on on how that looks um, and how much space it takes up. I feel like it'd be pretty simple to just not have like that now clocking in at 80 dollars i am not a big fan of the price tag i like this set well enough i think it's a very pretty looking set however i do think it's going to be one of the worst sellers of the wave uh, there's no conflict in this build i wish that there were some bad guys i wish that uh there was a bit more for 80 dollars uh, and 681 pieces i don't think is a very good piece count for something like this i do understand there's a lot of bigger and newer pieces Thank you so much to the Lego Ambassador Network and to Masters of Brigitte 2 for allowing me the opportunity to review and build the set. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I'm Chris, aka Legends of Ninjago, and we'll see you guys all next time. Bye!